I am standing here on the edge of the Kootenai River. These are the falls. And I want you to listen to the force of that water. Just listen for a second. Now I want to talk today about the power of prayer and the Holy Spirit and how powerful that can be in our life. Like this river flowing, powerful and forceful. Never forget that our Father in Heaven, He desires to have that relationship with us and He yearns for you to talk talk to him. When you get up in the morning, it's okay, here's an example. You get up in the morning, you've got a house guest, and he's sitting on the couch, and you get up, and you ignore the house guest, and you go about your daily stuff. You got to make breakfast, you got to fix your hair, you got to get dressed, you got to get ready for work. And then you leave the house without saying anything to that house guest. When we commit our lives to Jesus, and we become believers, he gives us the Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit dwells in us. It becomes our house guest. It's alive in us. But if we don't recognize it and spend time in prayer, it's it's I mean it's like the house guest that you're ignoring. People reconnect with God today. Bring the power of prayer back into your life. You know, we spend so much time reading books about positivity and how to change our, our inner selves and how to uplift ourselves and how to feel better and, you know, God is right there. He's right there waiting for us to reach up and talk to Him and provide everything that we need to live a fulfilling life. You know, it's not just His Word, but it, it's, the, it's the relationship that we have with Him. And that is our prayer life. So start today. Wake up in the morning. Say hello to God. Worship Him. Praise Him. You know, God Almighty, look at what He created. He wants to talk to you. He yearns to talk to you. He loves you. And so. remember, there's no wrong way to pray. No wrong way. He just wants to hear your voice. So forget about all those prayers that you had to memorize. And, you know, I mean, that's great. If you want to say the Lord's Prayer, it's a powerful prayer. But you better study it first to understand the power in that prayer. But in the meantime, you know, God doesn't require you to say prayers a certain way. He just wants to hear you. So, he's your father. Talk to him. Share with him. You'd be surprised how it will change your life.